It's a hack controversy right now and has the internet buzzing here in the GTA. So uh, Major League Baseball, Maliha, they're making all the teams wear a, a hat for Independence Day on July 4th. And of course, the Blue Jays, you know, they're a Major League Baseball team, even though they're in Canada. They're making them wear this. Hmm. What do you make of this now? Look at that. Okay, I think it's really nice. I actually like it. What's the problem? Is it not Canadian Well, enough? people are saying, listen, it's all this this U.S. stars and stripes stylized nonsense over our beautiful Blue Jay logo with the can Canadian flag. Why should we, as a Canadian team, have to wear this is what people are saying. Major League Baseball thought it would be a nice gesture to acknowledge the upcoming birthday of the United States of America. So it was that all 30 teams were originally scheduled to wear special caps on the 4th of July, decorated with the stars and stripes. Hey, what's not to love? Alas, when the caps were previewed to the public, Canadian press ran a story noting the following, quote, Fans of the Blue Jays voiced their displeasure at Canada's only MLB team wearing star-spangled hats, end quote. Um, don't mean to be a nitpicker here, but there's a slice of fake news here, wouldn't you say? I mean, fans of the Blue Jays implies all fans of the Blue Jays, not some fans of the Blue Jays, or more accurately, the lunatic fringe part of the Blue Jays fan base. You know, those cellar dwellers who routinely stage temper tantrums on social media should any perceived slight occur. Case in point, check out this profound tweet from somebody called Sunbraki. Quote, why would a Canadian organization allow this? This is slap in the face to all Canadians. Whoever came up with this needs to be fired ASAP. Does the Blue Jay executives know the Blue Jays are a Canadian-based team? Traitors! Who in the world would buy this stupid hat, end quote? Okay, grammatically incorrect, but you get what he's ranting about. And not only is Sembraki furious, and he's got two followers, by the way, but this being 2022, he's an adherent of cancel culture, which is to say that the poor graphic artist who came up with the 4th of July cap design must be fired as soon as possible because that person is a traitor. By the way, is that the benchmark for a modern day Benedict Arnold these days? A baseball cap displaying the stars and stripes? Truthfully, folks, this story made my blood boil because it speaks of a bigger issue than the mere design of a baseball cap. The sad fact is that there are too many smug Canadians you know, typically those who vote liberal and NDP, who cling to the mantra of Yankee go home. And I'm not referencing a certain baseball club based in the Bronx. Say what you will about Canadian stereotypes, about how painfully polite and over apologetic we can be. The fact is some Canadians harbor a mean streak and that meanness is conveyed via bashing Americans and American exceptionalism. Frankly, I think this hostility is driven by jealousy. But this baseball cap saga gets worse. That's because those nattering nabobs of negativity on social media bashing the 4th of July hats actually got their way, which is to say the bird brains running the Blue Jays bent the knee and announced that the 4th of July caps would be redesigned. And here's where things get surreal. The new Blue Jays 4th of July cap will remain predominantly red and white with blue stripes, but the stars have been removed. Oh, thank God. But let me get this straight. The Jays are okay with the stripes part of the American flag, but not the stars part. Conversely, if they had removed the stripes and just went with the stars, would that have been okay, or is that too, you know, American? Oh, and not to be a nitpicker again, but the Jays screwed up on the redesign. Check it out, folks. One little star remains. Oops. Maybe they need a third rendition of this cap. Perhaps they should cover up that solitary star 
so as not to offend Sunbracky and company, may I suggest a multicolored spirit unicorn? I have a hunch Sunbracky would really like that. Make no mistake, I am a proud Canadian, despite those who are currently in power on Parliament Hill and what they are doing to destroy this country. But by the same token, I adore the USA for so many reasons. This nation spawned two of the most important documents in world history, that being the Constitution of the United States and the Bill of Rights. And when I observe imagery such as the USAF Thunderbirds flying over the White House in precise formation, or when I hear perhaps the most stirring national anthem on the planet, that being the Star Spangled Banner, well, let me tell you, those sights and sounds, they give me goosebumps. The U.S. is our most dependable and loyal ally. The U.S. is our biggest trading partner. And I have a hunch, even those progressive Canadians who proudly wear their anti-Americanism on their shirt sleeves are the same Canuck schmucks who flee to Florida for six months as soon as old man winter takes lease here in the Great White North. Frankly, I find these sanctimonious Canadians appalling. In fact, I think they suffer from a psychological condition. It's called an inferiority complex. And this inexplicable hatred is manifested in bizarre ways, such as railing against a baseball cap that honors the United States on its birthday. Pathetic. And shame on the gutless organization that is the Toronto Blue Jays, for bending the knee to a small cadre of infantile, hateful, anonymous complainers. You know something, folks? Maybe this should be the new Blue Jay cap. The Blue Jay head is encircled with a red circle and a slash. That's the universal symbol for no. Indeed, why would I support a sports team that caters to the haters. In fact, in my book, the Blue Jays organization, as well as its corporate master, Robbers, or I mean Rogers, can all collectively go to hell. I'm done with them. Hey, happy birthday, USA. This Canadian loves you. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, before you know it, summer is going to be here, so get ready to have fun in the sun by wearing some of the newest Rebel News merchandise. We've got new t-shirts, sweatshirts, caps, you name it. Wear your politics on your sleeve when it comes to supporting Rebel News and looking quite fashionably as you do so. Please go to rebelnewsstore.com, that's rebelnewsstore.com, and place your order today.